All right, I want to try out the horse and the king a bit. I already grinded them a little. It turns out that when the game decides whether or not you can skip encounters, they will take into account the lowest level of your party, I think. It's either the lowest or the average, because even though AU and the, the two OG members can evade encounters in this area, the horse and the king cannot. Yes, this... Agro Acorn. Okay, Blade Dance is pretty luck-based. If you're lucky, you can get four or three to five hits. Otherwise, it's probably worse than actually using one of those spells. Money Madness. Hmm. Save that for what? the finishing blow. Meteor Strike You. Blade Dance. Money Madness, 6,000. I have no idea how much this will do. Two hundred, that's not enough. Not enough for the achievement, that is. For the achievement, you have to do 300. Play. Anyways, I have to do a voiceover for this entire- the rest of the entire video because, for some reason, my mic crapped out. That kinda sucks. I'm glad you all came too. You got little guys had me worried for a minute there. More storybook characters? Well, you look like the good kind of story heroes, so maybe you can go tell the ones on the upper shelves to keep it down. Three spooky flowers. Anyways, the enemies here are quite high level. Even with all the grinding I did, I wasn't able to evade, uh, use, get their, uh, them to show up as blue encounters. Alright, that middle one is really annoying. It can uh, absorb your hit points and MP. Yeah, everything else, and the rubber band one, I think, can counter your attacks if it gets into a, a counter stance. The clock can use magic and freeze time on one of your characters. I think that inflicts paralysis. So they give a decent amount of experience. As for money, I didn't get the achievement for getting using the king's money damage skill. That one takes a lot of money to get to over 300 damage. Yeah, can use during escape in this dungeon if I need to. Mm, climb up more. Twilight Helm. A fine helmet from, made from who the heck knows. Gotta decide who to give it to. Now I'm just gonna put on Volza because he needs more speed as the main healer. You look too short to climb these stacks of books. But I bet if you used the rulers as ramps, you'd be on your way to the top in no time. Twilight Mail. I'm just gonna put an AU for now. Focus gem. Let's go up. Ben Beller and all that stuff. Hmm. Boner Rattle Bay. I can see the word boner in the title. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? It looks like we've got ourselves a live one. 
skeletons, and they're way bigger than my sprite for some reason. Yarhar! Sounds to, like to me a scally like plunder their way into my vessel. You'll want to plank for this. I feel it in my bones. Nothing, eh? Fine, I guess I'll just ask directly. Does that old pirate talk just not do it for you? Needs work. It was boring. Well, you try sitting on the bookshelf for decades. These old pirate stories are going to make a comeback one way or another. Nobody checks us out from the library, and it's because great big hero stories like yours keep stealing all the glory. See? I should have said plundering all the booty. That, that's out of style and it's all your fault. Look alive, men. Captain Skullbone, ma'am. We're going to show these dogs how a real storybook plays out. Just like old times. Man your stations. Aye, aye ma'am. Crew stations themselves above. Long, long retired pirate Captain Skullbone. Heart show no mercy. Okay, I had to remember to turn back on the animations. So I'm just gonna set my usual buffs. Also, those cannons, they cannot die. You can only end the battle by killing Scuttlebone. But if you do enough damage to the cannons, they will be disabled for a while. It's similar to the that one final boss phase in Fey of Crimson Eclipse. Where damaging certain body parts enough will make them inactive, but not kill them. You still, uh, still need to concentrate everything on the main body part. A heroic dash for the AoE damage. Heal. Alright. Prism Pulse, because I don't think they have elements. Nuke! Cannon Fire forces the crew members on the left to scatter. The crew members on the right should scatter. And, but... They recovered a ton of hit points for some reason. There's, of course, they won't be able to do anything for the next few turns. That gives us an advantage against Skullbone. Ah, my MP. Okay, just concentrate some single target damage on you. Siphon. Does Siphon actually benefit from Amplify? One more single target. Should I magic shift or should I attack? Or just heal a little more? Re reapply healing regen. Reinflict pain. Strangely, this did not inflict any status effects on me. Skeleton crew resumes their assault, which means they do damage at the end of the turn. Uh, go with a big heal. Uh, 
Somehow that was enough to disable both cannons. Really wish that in these types of battles, the cursor would default on the main uh, boss part, uh, boss member, instead of the regenerating mooks. Dark Max. Man, I really hope this voiceover thing works out. It's, it's a really long. It's gonna be a really long voiceover clip because of just how uh, 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 how long I went on without audio. No, my MP. AU is a zero MP. Now he has to use normal attacks or waste an item. Magic shift to get some MP back. Okay, we got him. Volza leveled up, Glenn leveled up. Ha, huh, I can't say I expected the outcome to be any different. Who's going to want to pick up a book like this after so many years? Lashing out others isn't going to help us any. I believe I owe you an apology. Oh, but what a thrilling skirmish that was. It helped me feel relevant again. Back, like back when this book was flying off the shelf every other day. Fine. I guess you're as heroic as everyone makes you out to be. Everyone's been a bit riled up since this, this, this new guy in the top shelf has been making a ruckus. Maybe you can put those heroics to good use and take care of it. Top shelf. Haha. Alright, off to the shore with you then. Best of luck. Pyrite staff. You can teleport back to the entrance, kind of like an elevator. Yeah, so this is. Uh, you can get the best weapons from here. Probably should have done this area before. For taking on the storyteller. Hmm, a circle where I have to push a block. Stardust Helm. Uh, they, even in puzzle areas, they can interrupt you. Okay, this is... I screwed up here a bit. See, that other block on the left is, will prevent me from making progress on the block on the right easily. So I gotta reset and take care of the one on the left first. Slowly push this one here. Okay, now I can get that last block. And I tell you, there wasn't a shortcut to go back down, so I had to cut out some footage. All right, three blocks, three tiles. Stardust plate. Yeah, I better give all the twilight set to the demon lord. Sometimes you gotta get pretty crafty to get up and down the bookshelves. They certainly weren't constructed with free travel in mind. Sometimes we use stuff like seesaws made of pencils and stuff. Other times we use... Shoelace. Stuff like this. 
Try tying that to the big orange foam text if you need to get somewhere. It's kind of like the rope puzzle in the in the mysterious woods and Soma spirits. I don't know how we managed to attach it to the other side, though. Alright, reset button appeared just in case I screw this part up. What if we try to reset it while there's already a block in the right place? Would that reset too? Sounds like you're gonna climb up the next shelf now. Merkmeyer Manor. Uh-oh, can't escape. I don't know why they denied us healing points at this part of the game. Kind of weird, considering these are all boss tier enemies. Ooh! Isn't this scary? Oh, oh, you'd better be scared, because... Haha, <laughs> give me a second. Because I don't think you understand just how hard it is to stay scary these days. Is that a JoJo reference? Stand? I mean, look, a spooky ghost in front of a foreboding mansion. And, well, I think that's frightening. Everyone who read this book did. It's not scary. Why, you little smart Alex son of a. Arg! You think you're so amazing, don't you? I'm a classic. How dare you! Temperamental Terror Stress Spectre. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh, you have just ruined my day. Stress. That's what I'm feeling after my audio failed during my recording. Okay, what to cast first? Ghost types are supposed to be weak to star damage, right? Probably should have brought Horus along instead of Volza. Gonna try Agony just in case. Okay, just Meteor Strike some more, or should I debuff? Come on, make up your mind, past me. Alright, so it's not resistant to dark, surprisingly. But it can burn and it... I think only the king can heal off status effects to other characters without using an item. Okay. I'm sorry I feel like the percentage based heals are more worth using than the uh, flat da uh, fl the flat number heals. Since we're at really high levels now. I can't tell if Agony wore off. Since it uses the same symbol as pain. Speed up. Oh no, it's angry.
fiery punch. <laughs> now it's super resistant to everything. Except for agony, for some reason. Yeah, I probably should have just defended and stuck to defense and healing during this phase. Seeking out targets. Even Meteor Strike did nothing. It's about to unleash a devastating attack. I guarded here, but that might not be a good idea. Catastrophe deals a thousand even to a guarding player. That is messed up. Maybe I should have used Reflect instead. Maybe then Volza would have been able to reflect that much damage back to the boss. And I had to use a Soul Spear to revive him. Strange because the Storyteller's ultimate attack was survivable. When defending, that is. Okay, he should be vulnerable to everything again. Dead. Enemy was defeated. Good. You won. Great. That fight was way scarier than this dingy old fair ghost tale, but someone thought that this was scary once upon a time. Yeah, I think they've been spelled w once, so I guess you've made your point. I'll calm down, as long as you promise to do something about that jerk on the top shelf. He's been going on about hero and this and justice that and has been grinding everyone's gears. So go make him shove it. Now get on out of here and be a hero. That sounds really familiar. Vicious Lance obtained. Despite its name, it's actually quite friendly, just like the wielder. Okay, after healing, um, there's a Thumbtack NPC. I wish that guy upstairs would calm down. I doubt he's as amazing and heroic as he says he is. Vexing Robe. Yes, yeah, so everyone's getting their ultimate armor here. Well, mainly for the OG team. It's possible these can also be equipped by the extra characters. Mm, a light bulb. That eraser always guards on the first turn for some reason. I think some enemies are set to act a certain way on certain turns. Erases your attack. Good thing I'm using magic then. Enemy defeated. Soma Flask. I never used these. I probably should have used a few during the battle with the storyteller. Shoelace. Okay, a barrier blocking a healing point. About time they actually gave us a healing point before a boss. Yeah, that, that tech cannot be used to get to that switch over there yet. Okay, one barrier down. I've never been to the top shelf myself. I bet it's really dusty up there. Vexing Cat. Might drive you batty. Looks like there should be something there, like a stair, but there's not. Climb. Ever wrong.
Now we need to find a thumbtack to get across. That should be the last barrier. Am I ready for what lies above here? Mystery Planet 47. And I'm being carried away by the UFO. Filthy, filthy, filthy. Such a mess. Keeping this old book clean is just a full-time job in itself. Clean, clean, clean. Oh, but look how small you are. Well, I bet you're one of those newer, more compact stories everyone's in a fuss about. Don't you remember when everyone loved space stories? Behold, the near future of 1997. Dreams of space travel are now a thing of the past. Every, every convenience you could possibly want is a button press away. And I would appreciate it very much if you did not drag all that mud in on my lovely carpet. Meticulous Mechanical Made Genobot 8. Now clean up your mess. Well, look at all those three weapons. Who knows what sort of drums they might carry? Can't have that now. Put those away this instant. We cannot attack, but I usually don't use normal attacks against bosses anyway, so it's not much of a loss. Unless I run out of MP. Volley. It's like it's like that dance a sword dance move that the uh, Horus has, but better. Agony. I don't think this thing has any weaknesses. So just bring whoever you want. Okay, it doesn't seem to have any new tricks yet. Hmm, might as well throw in Dark Max just for a little bit of extra DPS. Since I'm doing pretty well in terms of hit point upkeep. Ah, I missed one of my attacks though. And buff cleaner actually removes all our buffs. Good thing amplify happened later. That allows me to keep it for next turn. did four hits this time. I thought it did five last time. Okay, reapply all the debuffs.
So, how close am I? I still don't know how scaling on agony and pain work. Yes. Enemy defeated. No, that wasn't that a tidy fight. Yes, the books have been talking about you and your heroics. I think you have what it takes to clean up that guy on the top shelf. That loud knob is just above us. I know you'll sweep the floor of him tomorrow, no problem. Now go get him so we can all go back to sleep. Meteor Blade. The final ultimate weapon. I'm sure the king could equip it too. Can you smash meteors? No one has tried. Hey, the top shelf is just above us. Go give that blowhard a run for his money. Hey, I recognize that red-gray motif. A split world. Haha! -ha. When danger is afoot, the world needs a hero to fight for the greater good. A hero that smites all who opposes them in the name of justice. Behold, the true hero appears. The Cooler Crusader! Ha! What for joy this timing. I've heard many things about your heroics among these shelves. Mostly from all of these people telling me to be quiet. However, I have recently finished recording my demo reel. With footage just good, I'm sure to be renewed for a second season. A couple of strange fellows in this book were ever so kind to assist me. But there's only room for one true hero here. You and your gang of slippery snickerdoodles can never hope to match my greatness. There's room on this demo reel yet. A battle such as this is sure to keep me on the air for years to come. Truly misguided hero, Cooler Crusader. Prepare to feel the might of my unparalleled justice. Cooler Crusader appeared. Even with his pecs, he cannot hope to defeat three of us. Can he? Justice Punch. Lower stats. But so can I. Yeah, it doesn't seem so hard compared to the storyteller, but I am at a way higher level. It's possible that if that if I was at level 27, he'd still it would be a more even fight. Continue the buffing. Maybe throw a heal. Amp again. Nothing else to do but Meteor Strike. Mm, surprisingly, he's weak to fire in this form. Why, you slippery noodles! You've got more fighting you than I had anticipated. This has proved that you are, in fact, dastardly evildoers. Now behold the power of my Justice Shield! Well, we know. In the original seer, in the original game, he was. This is supposed to make him super weak to fire while pumping up his hit points. But things are a bit different, unfortunately for me. What would be the best choice since he used up that turn to buff himself?
Here's some heal hero blizzard. Zeal. Okay, so check this out. He can resist it now. This is the Vice <laughs> Cooler Crusader Kanan. I'm guessing he learned his lesson uh, while fighting heart and soul. He learned that Justice Shield is not very practical, so he had to revamp it so that it has a, a, mo a more general defensive effect without compromising anything. Without actually having any real drawbacks. Yeah, so, I think this. Yeah, this could drag out this the first phase of the battle quite a bit. Fortunately, he does not resist star damage, so there, that's still an option. Yeah, let's see if Rot Ice Magic will do it the trick. Nope. I was- I thought it might have flipped his weaknesses, but I was wrong. Okay, I might as well just siphon from this boss until enter he enters his next phase. Good, it's Shush Mist. That was very fortunate. I also need to keep up my MP. Amp for now. No! How is this even possible? Despite all my training, I still fall short of becoming a true hero. I'll never be renewed at this rate. No! Not yet. I will show you. The incredible power of my fighting spirit. Ha ha! Crusader Z, but his sprite looks different. Behold, my fighting spirit has allowed me to transform, and now you'll feel the might of Crusader Z. Great cataclysm. That actually did a lot of damage. Hopefully he's back to being weak to fire. Ah, just a punch. Fire Max. That, well, it's not, it's not, it's, he's not weak to it, but he's not strong against it either. So that, that still works. He looks a little less like a justice, uh, like a super robot in this version. He looks more like a hero, like us. So we can still see the refrigerator handle on his armor. Yeah, it's like he was he based his form off of AU. Heroic sweep. And it inflicts attack down on everyone. Why can't my version? Uh, uh, why can't my heroic dash do the same thing? Bravery is it worth the risk? He, I feel like the enemies tend to target Volza and Glenn more than Au. Agony. Ah, Comet. Ah, 
Okay, as long as I keep this up, I should be able to win a lot easier than with the Storyteller. I feel like the Storyteller was meant to be fought at around the same time as this guy, in terms of levels. Justice Power! And unlike before, it does not affect his accuracy. He is still going to hit you. The only good news is that it's not going to buff his attack to 500. That's unsurvivable. Just means I have to heal a little bit more, that's all. Yeah, I think it made his attacks 30% stronger. Heal, heal, heal. All surround. Blinded. Okay, some of my debuffs are wearing off too. Too bad there's no number showing how long your buff and debuff will last. Other than from the skill description, which is hard to keep track of. Stone. Ow. Good thing he cannot debuff Int. That means Glenn will still deal full damage. Yes, all cure is now better than the normal cure. Do the percentage scaling well. Get more MP. Ah! That deal, that almost had enough to kill me. If I didn't grind back then, I would have died. I got him! Haha! -ha. You will think with all my worldly experience, I would not forget the meaning of heroism so easily. It seems that the deeds you do, the heroic greatness that you possess, comes from an incredible selflessness that bears the lives of everyone around you. Yes, I suppose for the second time I have forgotten this. So he really is the same Crusader Z from the... Uh, from the... Uh, not quite the end of time. Very well. I shall concede to you this day, brave hero Yusha. Poof. The enemy was defeated. Well, yep, you sure showed me. So I have a great feeling that the network is going to love it. Except I... I guess I'd better apologize to everyone for making such a scene up here. What kind of hero does that kind of self-centered thing? Ah, oh, worry not. Sure you got everyone riled up, but you know what? We all got our chance to feel alive again. When was the last time my crew had some real high seas action? If it weren't for you, our tiny hero here wouldn't have reminded us what it's like to feel appreciated again. You've given us hope for the future. If these shelves get cleaned up, maybe someone will take us home. You're all, you're all right. I sense great new beginnings for all of us. And it's all thanks to this strapping young hero here. Haha. -ha. I have imparted much of my heroism on you today, brave hero Yusha. I feel you are deserving of this. Sealed letter? I found this during my travels here on the, these great shelves. It's addressed to a truly wonderful hero, so it was only natural that I would pick it up. But I think you should have it. I have a show to make, after all. I hope we will meet again someday. Never forget the cooler crusader. And the other two party members teleport here. Alara, huh? Who would leave something like that around? Considering everything we've been through, though, 
Uh, I think that was left for AU specifically. Lucky Lucky, sounds like you've got a fan, AU. Well, what are we waiting for? AU opens the letter. Dear AU, hope you are well. It's already shaping up to be a busy school year. We will be reading the hero and the demon soon. I know you will all make the students very happy. They will be all be heroes in their own way someday. And I hope you can make a difference to them. Thank you, AU, for touching the lives of so many young people. Elias. Strangely didn't show up as the final boss of this dungeon. Instead, he shows up in the arena. Yeah, I feel like they should have been swapped around. The uh, Elias and Cooler Crusader, but Cooler Crusader might not be able to get into our world so easily. Maybe that's why he had to be fought in the bookshelf instead of Elias. <sighs> okay, I finally did the voiceover. Uh, that was I. That was pretty. Uh, uh, that was pretty stressful. I really I lost all my uh, audio, and I. Well, I have done voiceovers to uh, before, and and actually had a similar situation in Heredia, but still, still, I'm always afraid that something will go wrong, even with the voiceover. Or I'm. Well, on the bright side, I at least give myself just enough time to read dialogue in order to do voiceovers for it, but still, still, there might be some situations where voiceovers are more difficult than normal commentary. As for my thoughts on this game, I do like having free party members, that does make it easier to budget turns when you're up against tough enemies. In some, in some ways, there were some situations that felt easier than in Soma Spirit, since you do get a lot enough party members to to overcome pretty much any challenge. Hmm. As for the story, I kind of wish that... Uh, it does kind of feel like Edward, Ashlyn, and Elias get quite a lot of character development, huh? Even pro Probably even more so than the actual playable characters in some ways. Yeah, it would have been nice if we could play... Uh, I, I, I don't know, have Ashlyn actually join the party. Ashlyn and Elias join the party as like the fourth and fifth party members. And maybe show more uh, things from their perspective as they try to guide the heroes on their journey. But then again, they are implied to have godlike powers in the story, so that might be kind of unbalanced. Yes. That's what. Uh, in contrast, I feel like Soma Spirits does give a, quite a lot of character development to the playable characters, especially on the bad routes. Anyways, if you enjoyed this Let's Play of Brave Hero Yusha EX, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and try out the game for yourself.